Hi, I'm Logan Sandell. I go to the Houghton High School and I'm the Division 14 Lieutenant Governor. Hi, I'm Alexis Lutz, the Membership Development Committee Chair. I go to Gladstone High School and I'm part of Division 16. Today we're going to talk about how to recruit new members, then we'll talk about how to retain said members. There are tons of ways to recruit members, but you should choose methods that you know will work for your school. A great way to recruit members is by creating posters or pamphlets. You can create posters or pamphlets using the Key Club brand guide on the Key Club International website, or you can find some online. We have also included a few posters and a pamphlet in the description of the video. Remember that it's important to hang them all around your school or people will see them. Another way to recruit members is by advertising Key Club on your school's website or social media page. Posting online is a great way to ensure that a large portion of students will see your advertisement. Post a flyer on your school's website or post reminders for people to sign up for Key Club. The best and most effective way to find new members is by word of mouth. Encourage everyone in Key Club to tell their friends about their experience as a member and what getting involved in Key Club can do for a student. One of the most important ways to get the word out about Key Club is by advertising to 8th graders before the new school year starts. One of the main reasons why incoming freshmen don't join Key Club is because they don't know what it is. A great way to solve this problem is by planning a visit to the 8th grader school and holding a Key Club meeting for them this, in the spring. This will get them interested in joining Key Club. Before holding this meeting, pass out flyers to the 8th grade homeroom classes that explain what Key Club is and when you'll be visiting the school. When you hold a meeting with the eighth graders, make sure to explain what Key Club is and emphasize that it is fun, fulfilling, and looks good on a college application. Make sure the meeting is informative and remember to take questions. And I'll also have a sign-up sheet for interested students to write down their name and their phone number. Another way to recruit members is by setting up a Key Club booth at school schedule pickup or high school orientation. Pass out flyers and pamphlets and talk to anyone who's interested. Include a sign-up sheet at both of these events too. Remember, other clubs are trying to recruit members as well, so try to incentivize interest with candy, pins, or other small tokens. Setting up a Key Club information booth at scheduled pickup or, will also help recruit older high schoolers. Another way to recruit high school students is by speaking about Key Club at your school's homecoming assembly or club fair. Make sure to make Key Club sound exciting and don't forget to emphasize that it's not too late to join even if the school year has already began. Other effective methods to recruit new method members include making Key Club obvious to everyone at your school. Create a bulletin board in the hallway that has information about upcoming service events and pictures from past events. A great way to have all of your members advertise is by having a day where everyone in the club wears their club shirts to school. One more way to advertise Key Club is by having bring a friend meetings. You can hold these meetings every month or so and ask each member to invite a friend. At these meetings, make sure to make them fun and informative. Another encouraging way to get any high schoolers to join is by having your school award members honorary key club pins or ribbons upon graduation. These awards can be based on how many years a student was in key club or how many service hours they've achieved. If you have school in person this year, make sure that you follow your school's guidelines as well as those of the CDC and the World Health Organization for safety during the pandemic. If in-person meetings are hard to come by this year, you can still utilize many of these tips. You can still advertise on social, on social media, on your school's website, and post flyers online and spread the word to your friends. Other ideas for how to recruit members when school is remote is by having an online meeting specifically for eighth graders and interested in new members. Post about the meeting in advance and include the link to the meeting. You can also display what your club is doing throughout the school year by keeping your club's website updated or by adding a key club page to your school's website. Now, here are some helpful tips to keep in mind about member recruitment. Make sure that it is clear to every student what key club is and how to join. Start advertising your club in the spring and summer. Advertise advantages and rewards of being a key club member. And make sure to hang posters while they will be seen. That's it for recruitment. So let's move on to how to retain your members. The best way to retain your members is by making meetings fun and by keeping them interesting. Create a visual aid, such as a presentation, that your members can follow along with throughout the meeting. A fun way to start each meeting is by sharing a fun fact or by asking a trivia question. Another way to make your meetings fun is by having snacks. You could also have a meeting every so often where your club plays team building games. Members will also want to stay involved in Key Club if your club offers a wide range of service events. 
take suggestions from members about what service events they would like to do and try to find events that are interesting to everyone. It is also important to always have service events happening. Try to have multiple events every week or month so that members have plenty of opportunities to volunteer. Try to reiterate that Key Club is not just about membership, it's about the hours you put into building your community. Your club should also make sure to communicate with members and hold consistent meetings. Remind your members when meetings are through remind, email, or other methods of communication that work for your club. An effective way to retain members is by promoting the opportunity to hold a position in Key Club. Promote becoming an officer at your club and encourage your members to run or apply for a position on, on the district board. If your club has any volunteer events or parties this year, make sure that they are safe. Follow limits on gathering sizes, social distance, and wear masks. If your club wants to have a bonding session or party, consider holding it online or outdoors. If school is remote, make sure to keep up frequent communication with your members. When holding online meetings, make sure that they are consistent time and they do not run too long. Um, you can still make these meetings fun by having fun facts or games at the beginning or end of the meetings. There are some other important tips to remember about member retainment. Have attendance awards for meeting club attendance. Hold meetings at a consistent time and place. Have parties and bonding activities for your members. Hold at least one meeting during the summer and have plenty of service events throughout the year. Communicate often and effectively with your members. In a remote school year, group chats are a strong way to keep members reminded and active with their att attendance and accountability within service events. That's all we have for today. Make sure to implement these strategies so that you can grow and maintain your club. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at any time.